Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. Today, my people, we're going to be focusing on XLM, them lumens today. As you guys can see, first thing I have up for you is that XLM could possibly rebound past the 13 cent mark. Doing some charting right here, I wanted to show you all the actual XLM daily chart and what we've been really seeing. Uh, since about the 17th of August, we've had ourselves a little bit of a rebound. Uh, uh, you know, lumens touching around 11 cents with that real big dip that we were having in the in the Bitcoin market of course and then it really we had the the bulls really in in control for the next three days and then two days down we were bearish so really i personally do see the pattern that we're seeing here is that we could possibly be getting ourselves to this pass as resistance here at the 13 cent mark now once we rebound past there uh when it comes down to holistically looking our first resistance most likely will be around 15 cents but i think we're really clear for this range here between 13 to 17 cents now moving forward here i want to talk with you guys about central bank digital currency to development. The Reserve Bank of Australia issuing reports on the CBDC use cases. In this report, the conclusion came to see that using and suggesting CBDCs can reinforce resilience and inclusivity in the digital economy. As you guys know, Stellar Lumens is the payment coin, the people's coin really, and they're all about banking the unbanked. But if you're not familiar with what a CBDC is, about 92-98% of banks are researching central bank digital currencies. Basically, the digital version of the fiat that you use right now. So this report is indicating that these CBDCs could bolster the digital economy's robustness by offering alternative payment methods. Listen to this, offline electronic payments during power or internet outages. If you guys are really familiar, in our last update, in our last live, we were sharing with our community how we're moving into a new age. And really, if there's going to be a great reset, most likely we're going to be having an extreme case of this outage, internet outage. So a feature that could be beneficial to specific community sectors that might find it difficult to access traditional banking systems. They specifically mention travelers, foreign students, and victims of domestic violence. Really interesting. Within this specific report from the Central Bank of Australia, they mentioned Stellar specifically. Right here, Novati, stable coin proof of proof of reserve. The opportunity for universal adoption and acceptance, increased confidence in stable coins is needed. This is the opportunity that they're understanding. So the current methods that are really seen, they rely on third party accreditations that are not verifiable at the token level. Central bank digital currencies can provide a risk free backing in central bank money of these private stable coins and they allow users to verify independently these token reserves. So what was the pilot that was taken here? Demonstrating a guarantee on the electronic Australian dollar that was backed by a pilot. It was minted on the Stellar blockchain on Stellar using lumens. So these uh, participants were able to independently verify. Notice here, guys, I want you all to see from the horse's mouth exactly Novati, this use case and their adoption really with Stellar. Listen to this. Novati has recently announced two deals around your stablecoin services. Talk us through it. We've been able to announce uh, partnerships with both Stellar and Ripple, two of the major uh, cross-border uh, blockchain networks, both based out of Silicon Valley and both with very high market capitalizations relatively. Uh, Ripple we've done a lot of work with in the past for cross-border payments and Stellar we had started on a blockchain program with them a number of years ago, but now we're really bringing uh, it to life. So we're building a multi-chain stablecoin service initially on both the Ripple and Stellar chains. And in fact, what's a great thing is both Ripple and Stellar are largely funding the development work and even some of the marketing work that we do to get our stablecoin service out. So the stablecoin will be a dollar for dollar backed uh, Australian dollar stablecoin. So uh, we are a licensed company. We will be running our funds in trust accounts. And then we've got a, an Australian dollar stablecoin uh, named AUDC, uh, somewhat in line with the nomenclature of, of the US stablecoin USDC. I know we are beyond bullish for XLM. Now, even more on those offline capabilities, look at this. Stellar shines as the Crunchfish CEO reveals collaborations with central banks and they're spotlighting offline payment solutions. Look at this. You all can see right here, this digital cash platform, Crunchfish, has been one of the four forerunners in providing offline payment capabilities for payment services, banks, and who? CBDC implementations. The next piece I want to show you all is coming out from the 
BIS. That's the Bank of International Settlements. And they mention Stellar Lumens in specific, even all the way back to around the time of the pandemic. What they were researching here is monitoring financial innovation, financial innovations in central bank statistics. As you guys can see right here, one of the examples that they're using here is about synthetic exchange rates, and they specifically are using stellar lumens. You all can see that in this case, they're saying that the synthetic ex synthetic exchange rate constitutes the average of the underlying intermediate exchange rate and weighed by uh, respective trading volumes. In layman's terms, what they're saying is that they're going to be gathering all of this financial data and making an average and weighing that against, of course, a intermediate crypto asset, Stellar Lumens. That's the point of, as you guys know, Stellar is really a bridge asset that could be used for central banks. Also in this publication from the BIS, they mentioned Stellar Lumens once again in this. In this, They say all crypto have high and similar standard deviations with positive skewness, with some specifically Stellar Lumens XLM had much more than others. This is an indication that they have experienced greater chances of extreme positive outcomes or that bad scenarios are less likely. The fact that they have also exhibited extraordinary excess kurtosis implies that the likelihood of extreme outcomes is much higher than that predicted by the normal distribution. Speaking on distribution, I want you guys to understand that Stellar has opened up their aid assist platform for the public, meaning their turnkey disbursement platform can now be used by anybody. This 24-7, 365 way is full certainty that funds can be delivered. Send payments of all sizes, micro payments, humanitarian aid, and global payroll. Very interesting that you all are seeing the people's coin with its full activation use case in your face. This platform is going to be offering uh, business owners uh, these, this turnkey interface, inner intuitive interface that could be fully integrated into any product suite. It's going to be transparent, instantly sending funds across borders with real time visibility, global access. There's going to be over 300,000 off ramps that are going to be available all across the world. Now, if you're new to understanding on and off ramps and on ramp and off ramp, Stellar has the most than any other digital asset. So when you're talking about an on-ramp, you're changing your fiat into crypto and, and an off-ramp is changing that fiat or changing that crypto back into fiat. So this is very interesting, guys. This is some development that you really don't want to look over because you're seeing the people's coin. Guys, here's one thing. If you're new to our channel, what we've been expressing to our community is that we're seeing the, the, the we're in the middle of the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, it, it's the, the, the revolution will not be televised. They're not going to tell you hey guys wake up we're in the middle of massive change no the majority of the public is going to be keeping their heads in the sand so what i want you guys to see is in the future how things are going to be operating especially with offline capabilities that are really operating here and again they're making sure that you know that xlm is a preferred platform for launching these projects so again guys you have to understand that again the united nations tapped stellar already to use this form to use this platform in a sense and it was called the stellar a assist to assist people in Ukraine uh, that are that are suffering from the war in Ukraine. So overall, my people, you understand that Stellar is going to be able to operate these global payment apps, integrating these financial services and digital assets, which are going to be issued by anchors that are going to be on the Stellar network. If you guys don't know, those anchors are basically businesses and entities that are going to be able to facilitate the exchange of these rates. They're going to be providing liquidity that's going to allow Stellar to reach new customers all around the world, banking the unbanked. Truly, guys, what we're really operating here is the people's coin. Stellar lumens are definitely worth accumulating. And really, again, looking at our charts here, if we're able to really get bullish, if you're looking for bullish price action, uh, most likely we're going to be getting past that resistance. When we get to, once we kiss past that resistance, we'll probably be getting ourselves to 15 cents. And again, guys, like I said, and on to the races here at 17 cents. I appreciate you for making it to this part of the video. Be sure that you hit the like button, share this thing out. And as well, if you're new to our channel, be sure that you subscribe. With that being said, I'll holler at you later. Peace.